latest on September 9th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Two systems that are still tropical at this point, Tropical Storm Gabrielle and Typhoon Faxai over Japan. Ex Dorian and Ex Ling Ling linger this evening slash morning local time. It's September 9th, day 252 of the year, day 100 in the Atlantic. Ex Dorian moving away from Canada slowly. Gabrielle in the central part of the North Atlantic in Best 94L and still has potential. On day 117 of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, the remnants of Juliet still hang about and are still rather weak. In the Western Pacific, Ling Ling way up there now. Faxai made a landfall in Japan earlier today, 95W, and Subtropical Depression 96W still active. No systems active in the Southern Hemisphere, however, it's all quiet here. The main feature is ex-Hurricane Dorian with winds of 65 miles per hour and a pressure of 968 millibars at the last National Hurricane Center advisory. That information may have changed by the time this goes out. 65 miles from Comfort Bight, 52.7 north, 54.2 degrees west. The remnants of Dorian will continue across the Atlantic Ocean over the course of the next few days and it will end up uh, passing just to the south of Iceland, which it probably transitions into another, uh, gets absorbed by another tropical, uh, subtro no, extra tropical cyclone, and then by the end of the week it moves well up into the North Sea towards the Arctic Circle, and then it'll be all gone. Typhoon Faxai is just along the eastern coast of Japan with winds of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 964 millibars on our latest information, um, showing that it's actually just moved out back over water again, 21 miles from Hokota, 36.2 north, 140.9 degrees east. Over the next few days, we expect it to weaken rather quickly as it steams off out towards the northeast. Um, and looking ahead at the forecast, it will probably turn post-tropical very soon and get swallowed up by the middle of the week. Well, there it is on the imagery. You can see how it moved over the Tokyo region and has been sauntering towards the northeast in those later frames. The uh, wind shear value is fairly low. It made landfall with winds of 115 miles per hour, one of only five or six typhoons to do so at that intensity within 100 miles of Tokyo. So one of a very select bunch of storms, although this one was fairly small in stature. The North Atlantic looks like this, Gabrielle, near the top of your screen. Uh, still struggling, really, a rather small system, but it is stronger, 65 miles per hour. And you can also see the Invest 94L over the central part of the Atlantic. Some of the models have a future for this system, but the general trend is that it won't develop until at least the Lesser Antilles. The Gulf of Mexico looking fairly quiet on that rather glitched imagery. The Eastern Pacific showing what's left of <coughs> Tropical Storm Juliet. Uh, still drifting towards the west and very little going on with that or indeed anything else out there at the moment. There is something that could develop in the eastern part of the basin over the next few days. Some model support on that as well. Probably another out of sea hurricane. The western Pacific looks like this. Uh, not far from Guam is Invest 95W. You can just about make out part of Faxi on that imagery as well. And Subtropical Depression 96W, which may be no more by this point in the East China Sea, looking very bare up there near the top. And just general thunderstorm activity and disturbances blowing up near the Philippines. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like this right now. Um, the Solomon Islands getting a bit of convection and off towards the east there, a few flare-ups as well. And in the Indian Ocean, things looking very quiet here too. A few blow-ups again over central India, not far from the coast of Bangladesh as well, and just off the southern tip of Myanmar. Well, this is the sea surface temperature graphic showing the eastern Pacific. Temperatures 30 degrees plus along the coast of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico and the Western Caribbean also looking very warm. Still recovering from the cool trail of Dorian um, in the Western Atlantic. Although temperatures are now rising once again. It is around the peak of the sea surface temperatures in, during the course of a year. The Indian Ocean not looking too bad, around 28 degrees generally, and the Western Pacific showing a few areas of increased warmth, but quite a few gaps as well from previous typhoons, but the hot spot is around the, Mar uh, the Mariana Islands and eastwards. 
This is Typhoon Faxi on the latest imagery, so you can see on those latest frames, it's really turned northeast completely. We thought it might have had a bit more of a bend and it would emerge over the coast a little bit further north, but it has emerged now by the looks of things in that latest frame and will pick up speed and accelerate off to the wards the northeast and turn post tropical. This is what's left of Dorian. It's got an enormous wind field, but the convection continues to die off and rainfall amounts are going to decrease rain rates at the very least. We could still expect another one to two inches across parts of Quebec, Newfoundland and Labrador. So far on September the 9th, we've had 56 storms on the list. In the Atlantic, the next name is Umberto. In the Eastern Pacific, we're going to have Kiko. In the Central Pacific, the next name on list one is Ima. In the Western Pacific, the next name on the list is Paper. And in the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Hika on list eight. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website, force13.com, with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13, all in text, subscribe if you haven't already. And you can also find us on our Facebook and Twitter platforms. Just search Force 13 all in text on there as well. And you can get in touch with us on any of these platforms. That's all for now. We will have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.